الحمد لله اهلا وسهلا Give you a kiss three times. I went out and stayed there. Stay there. Take care. Okay. Need the bill. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I I am happy to introduce the Sheikh Jabri that I had the privilege to meet and to know. as a, a real, real leader of the Arab community in Hebron, a brave man, a man of peace, a man of dignity, and we are very, very happy to be here in the tent of peace. That uh, It's only the beginning. This tent was built a few weeks ago uh, as a beginning of a new movement of peace and uh, understanding in this area. I know the Sheikh, I met him many times in his home in uh, Hebron, uh, and today we actually uh, celebrate the beginning of a new era that I hope someday that uh, the governments will also understand this is, the th this is how to do peace and not the false uh, uh, peace process that uh, is being done, and this is what we are going to hear. To destroy the Jewish community, but is really peace activist, and he will be the translator. Uh, this is way of peace and way of uh, living together, together between Arab and Jews here in Hebron. ونتأمل أن نكون مناصرين داخل الوطن وخارجه. And we are hoping that uh, we will have the, we'll have like ambassadors uh, here and in America and overseas for our uh, message. لا إحنا بحاجة يعني للناس اللي شاعرين في وضعنا وفي وضع اللي إحنا وصلنا إليه. Um, we need uh, actually people that will uh, Uh, will be as ambassador helping us uh, in our uh, in our in the middle of the way that we are here now. Help us to uh, build peace in the land of peace. And thank you so much for coming here to visit me. سيد الشيخ المناسبة اللي هي الشيخ حي السراعة سيد نصارى هم أجوا يزوروها في هذه المناسبة إذا ممكن أن تبعث كلمات عن محمد أنا أنا بقول بالنسبة لجميع الديانات كلها تشارك في وجود المغارة هذه الموجودة في الحرم الإبراهيمي اللي هي قبر سيدنا ابراهيم ابو الانبياء جميعا وستنا صار من المكرمين عنا في جميع دياناتنا احنا حتى في القران واحنا يعني نحترم ومن امن في وجودها وفي منزلتها عند الله. الشيخ قال ان الكيف ابراهيم ناغه مختلا It's something that uh, cooperate us together or united us together as a Muslim as, as a, and a Jew, uh, because uh, Mother Sarah, she's uh, uh, she's uh, wife of Abraham, which is our father actually, and uh, and uh, no doubt that uh, um, um, there we can see that uh, uh, we are actually uh, one family uh, from one father, which is Abraham. Abraham Avinu, right? And uh, we we should not forget it. وإحنا يعني نهنيهم بأن أنفسنا إنهم في عيد لست نصارى. And we are we are blessing you from all uh, our heart in this holy holy Shabbat of Chayyesara. 
لأنها مناسبة مشتركة لجميع الأديان. Because is uh, Shabbat Chai Sara is uh, uh, very uh, important day for all all of us. وإحنا في ديننا الإسلامي نفرقش بين نبي ونبي. And in our uh, Islam religious, uh, there is no different for 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 us uh, from any uh, holy person like Sarah or Jacob or Moses or Abraham. <coughs> All the prophets. And I thank you that uh, and appreciate that you coming from far away. To uh, mention a memorial that is uh, very important for all the religious. And again, welcome. ونتمنى نكون ان شاء الله تكونوا سعيدين في الزيارة وفي and we are hoping I hope that you will be very happy in your visit here in Habib وان ترجعوا لبلادكم بسلام and be back to your place in peace ونتمنى انه تساعدونا على اقامة السلام and we hoping that you will help us to build the peace Um, I will say something. I spoke in one bus, the other one uh, couldn't hear that. That we know the chef for a few years. Actually, I met him in the first time when he prevented anarchists and enemies to destroy a shul. He said, I don't want that the holy place will be destroyed on my soil. And then we came to express our appreciation and then we had to privilege the privilege to meet a brave man, a man of peace. He really believes in Islam. And because of that, he says, no Muslim can give up any land, but at the same time, we must live here in peace with the Jews. And he was threatened, the enemies wanted to kill him, but he is brave, and he has people that, can that are ready to fight for him, and he is not afraid from anyone, except from God. And um, I would like to ask the Sheikh, what is his vision? How he sees the future as he would like to see it? A future in this land, in this holy land. A new direction of to create a new era in this in this land. And, uh, I have, um, I have all the time convinced, convinced that uh, the the good have to defeat the evil. If I had doubt, in even one percent, the peace. If I had uh, any doubt that peace will not be here, I, I didn't was coming to this way or start with this way. But I'm sure that peace will be will be achieved here. Because uh, I'm sure that all the religious uh, they, he, they are against to um, to against kill people, against to kill people. And the message of all the uh, the religious is to uh, to make peace and love between the people. And I hope that the peace. Uh, will be created in the land of the peace. The Okay. 
This group represents actually uh, two groups, but they cooperate in many ways. One group is called AFSI, which is an organization. AFSI is American for a safe Israel. And the other group is group of a Hebron fund, the people that uh, participate in the Jewish community of Hebron. And they all want to see that the, this area of Hebron becomes area of peace and happiness for all. And they all agree that the current peace pro so-called peace process is a disaster. And uh, when they came here for Chayesara, the leaders of, the, of the, the, the people, they asked to organize this uh, meeting uh, and they want to continue the work to maintain the real peace. The old people that uh, raise children and uh, they have families and know what's the uh, real interest of the of human community of people, of families, as the Sheikh knows, and the, as the Sheikh takes care for his people, they know what's the mission, the real holy mission is. Maybe we can ask Mrs. Helen Friedman 